Hi, this is Jess Royce, reporting for WBC Magazine. I'm here with Samaya Lee. Samaya Lee from VH1's Love and Hip Hop. And the first question I want to ask you is, how did you get picked up? Um, well, I went in, you know, on a meeting, and they just asked me a bunch of questions. Um, you know, why I was in New York, how long was I going to be there for, um, my backstory on where I came from, my hustle, what I what I believe in, what I don't like, what I like, and <laughs> things of that nature. And I think that it was perfect timing for how they picked me up. Uh, I was looking for a reality show for a while, but it was hard for me to find something that fit what I did because I'm not not really wild party girl or like I mean a lot of reality has to do with that right so it was a little difficult to find something for me so I was definitely open to taking something um, and they happened to have a show about hip hop so it was a right fit for me I had just got to New York so it was perfect um, yeah yeah definitely and I'm not gonna you know ruin it for anyone you definitely should watch the show but you know, I go hard for my dreams, you know. I left a very Definitely comfortable, <laughs> yeah, I left a very comfortable lifestyle in Los Angeles, you know. Um, I own a home there, you know, I have a nice new car. I mean, it's, I left everything to just pursue my dreams, so. And I go hard for mine. Yeah, so we understand that you're an artist. Yes. Okay, so what influences your music? I think a lot of it influences come from my mom and dad. You know, a lot of it is really them. Um, my mom and dad came here to this country with nothing, and they did everything they could to make it better for us. And they were never able to really live the American dream. Um, we were maids growing up with my mom. My father at un zapatero, which was a shoemaker, mm -hmm. and he was shining shoes, making whatever twenty, thirty dollars a day. You know, my mother was doing the same and I just I don't know I just really wanted to give them a better life and there was something that I always loved which was entertainment in general I think is really what it comes down to is like to you know act for my parents and you know <laughs> dance for them and you know sing and you know and yeah, it was that's really always what it comes down to so you had so much success as a mom you think you're gonna be successful as a well, I think that that's a big, big, big misconception about the modeling um, because I really didn't really model. I did a lot of commercials, and so for the commercial campaigns, it's sort of where like some of those photos came into okay, play. Okay. So it was from my acting that I got into that, and that's always been a successful thing. Um, with my music, I've been, you know, my music is coming out. Um, however, it's been. I YouTube some of it. Yeah, it's really good, actually. yeah, thank you. A lot it's of the really new records good. are definitely a lot better grown, um, but it has been very good for me. You know, it's it just because you know I, I I'm not a rotation. It definitely doesn't discredit what I do because I have you know my first Lionsgate film that's coming out this year. My song Baby Baby is the score for it. Thank you, and I perform in it. I have another one coming out. I also have another song that I scored in a Vodafone commercial, which I am also starring as well in Europe's plane. So I mean. It's just again, you know, just because you're not technically on rotation, you're not already Rihanna, let's say, or you know, a developed, you know, Beyonce, it doesn't mean you're not already doing things. So I'm definitely no rookie when it comes to that. I hope and pray for the best, as always. You know, uh, my audience is very specific, so not everybody likes it, you know, and that's okay. I like it. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm Okay. Like yeah. <laughs> so you know, I just, just like I do everything in life. I put it out there. I'm very humble, hustle. So I respect everybody until disrespected, and I just keep going. So, how do you think you were hated so much? From the little bit of footage that I saw, why do you think you were hated so much? Is it because you're the prettiest mom in the show? <laughs> I'm <Gosh>. just saying. <laughs> I can say it. That's um, right, said it. <laughs> I would have to say that I think a lot of it was like lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's really what it comes down to because if you take the time to really like if you if I if you let me kidnap me for a couple of days and you just see what I do and how hard I grind by myself against all odds, you would definitely have a different perception. And I'm just really trying to make it like everybody else is in the game. I really have no shade towards anybody. I don't I have nothing bad to say about anybody, even though I've seen some of my castmates throw me under the bus yes. in interviews and that's okay, you know, if that's how they feel and that's how they wanna go down in life, that's fine. But 
my movement is very empowering to females and you know I will address the situation when it's happening but outside of that I'm not really interested in doing that you know I'm just trying to do my thing you know so it's not about the drama no lady. it definitely it definitely isn't but you know it makes good television so I can't yeah. be mad at the girls you know um, however you know again your track record should speak for itself and my track record is completely going great so so what can we expect from the show what are we going to get out of the show uh, well, they got me at a good time, like I was saying. It's like right when I got to New York, and uh, they do document a lot of my hustle. So they document how I grind. I, I haven't seen the editing because just off the first episode, I was completely shocked that, you know, Jim, it's like Jim said, we are pretty, so we can work something out. That was like two completely different takes. <laughs> so, but editing is good though. However, you, you know, it. I don't know what to say. And then also, I noticed that there was something that one girl said that said it in another time, but it was brought, so it's, it's yeah. just to make it sound good. But I will say this, that um, I definitely was true myself as much as I could be. I was always trying to be as respectful as I could be. I respect to disrespect it. Uh, but one thing you will not get out of me is me really slandering people. I'm not trying to get what anybody can. Like, it's, I think it's disrespectful. Like, my, my name is no gym. I'm, I'm glad that he was actually very professional in the studio. I really respect him for that. And he's a hustler. And um, I wish the best to everybody. And uh, I think, that, you know, the way I'm talking to you now is just really what it is. And I think a lot of miscommunication. And I really can't expect everybody to like me. And that's okay, you know. Um, thank you, you know. And I'm just I'm just out for people that are down with my with my game, you know. And it's down with the, with the hustle and, you know, um, I don't really understand people that want to really hate on what I do. I don't really get it because I, I really don't see where you're coming from when I know I'm doing good. Uh, but I'm willing to, and you'll see it later on the show, I try, I try to reach out to them because I'm also thinking we're working together. So, I mean, is this going to go on the whole time? I don't have time for high blood pressure. <laughs> you're not open the mind. Yeah, you got the same though. Know, it starts young, honey. It starts young. As you can see, I'm sure that raised a lot of high blood pressure to a lot of young girls that was watching it. But... I really just want to be a role model to women and to men, and I want to show people that you have to go hard for yours and respect yourself and what you're doing along the way. And it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay, but if you repeat, if you repeat them twice, it's a pattern. <laughs> Stop lying to yourself. <laughs> so one more question. Yeah. How was it working with him? He's great. Uh, he's really professional. Like. I don't know, it's funny, it's a, um, a lot of people were like, oh, did he hit on you? And I don't know, like, it, I just went in, played on my records, we, you know, I always believe in asking, you ask once somebody, they say no, no is no, and I respect you for it, but a closed mouth does not get fitting, okay? So I reached out to him and I told him, like, you know, can we work together on something, hear my records? Maybe there's, I don't know if you want to get into a crossover of the Latin market, which I have. And we, you know, we vibed. It was really cool. It really, everything changed when Chris came to the picture. So <laughs> that was really sort of like a really different kind of a thing. And I still don't even know if she knows that, you know. And um, I I had a great time, you know, being in the studio with him. He's funny. Uh, he's definitely all about his business. See, I like that. That right there was, I was like, oh, cool. So it's going to be like, pop, pop, pow, out. Yeah. So you definitely are going to have to watch the show to see what happens and what develops out of it. But yeah, he was really cool, real professional. Uh, a lot of his boys were there, like, when we were working. Uh, and that's because it's just about his cake. Just like you said, he goes hard, like me. So I think that's one thing that I do remember him saying, you're a hustler. And that's, that's definitely, you can go somewhere because you're ambitious. And, there I am. So. You're definitely going places. Yeah. Very it's excited. Just Roy signing out with Mr. Maya Reese. The beautiful Mr. Maya Reese. Mr. Maya Boss Reese. La Jefa. Excuse me. Excuse me. La Jefa <laughs> means the boss, but in Espanol. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace. Thank you.